Welcome back. Welcome back. Is the microphone working? Yes, looks like we've got AV. How are we doing? Did you have a good break? If you just joined us, we're carrying on with uh, some firefighting sim thing. Firefighting the squad, I think it's called. So we've got Dave and Sammy and then AI Bill. Uh, Mr. Brian Cree, thank you for 61 months. And Insulanus, thanks for 108. That's a big number. Let me drag somebody down. Yo, yo. Hey. See, Dave's not moved himself. Wow, well, you just can't get the star, can yeah. you? Yeah. Hi, Dave. Hello. I've hit start. Okay. Come on, what this one is actually. Might be a small fire. Didn't it say drive in? Yeah. So it might be like outside or maybe the whole a, shop was gone. A drive in fire? Like, like, yeah. have a, like a McDonald's just go in with your hoses out the windows? Yeah. Just ordered two fires. Would, I, would you like to uh, supersize those? Unit 1 to dispatch. We are en route to the scene. Dispatch to Unit 1. That's a big touch. Acknowledged Unit 1 on do they have um, that fire engines with the houses on the roof like they do in the US? Yeah. Do they? Oh, that's cool. Thank you for 87 Valtiel, Urban. Thank you for 18. You can see the smoke. Approaching C. Dispatch to all units. Unit one on scene, assuming command. Continue working the fire. Right, I think we should do a 360. <laughs> I, oh, let's do I, I think I'll get a supply line. Beep, beep. I'll run beep. in recklessly with my banner or oh, my um, breaching tool and make sure there's no dead people. If you're actually still parked backwards, I'll be really impressed. There's a victim just outside, though. It's not. Like it's Come the in. whole diner We've got again. Electrical fires being still parked backwards, there you go. Find see it high? And cut the power. Oh, just no. on the corner. That's cool. Yeah, no worries. Andy, thank you for tier three, sir, and eighty-two months. Surely this uh, medic got to grab this one. I mean, it's next to me. It's just lazy in this day. If you can't get the staff, you should know that. He's like, I, I can see him, but I'm not paid to carry. Sorry. Pretty much. Right, where's all the nozzles? Where Put are some they? Some connected, boss. There we go. Right. Oh, there is no door to breach. Uh, the door's been tough. Where's the nozzle door? So the diner is the same size as the fire that we had before. Oh, that's a lot of fat. There's a... Hang on, I'll grab this guy. Before he completely cooks. I'm getting burned just getting him and he's lining the fire. I think we just need water, don't we? Because there's doors to unlock. There'll probably be grease in there as well. Yeah, but it's grease, Dave. So oh, there's that's... a car gone through the window. And what do you do with grease fires? Get your fire extinguisher. Yeah, you have to get the extinguisher, otherwise it makes the flames bigger. With water. Andy, thank you for 82 tier 3, sir. GD James, thanks for 27 months. Yes, electricity, sir. I'm Black Shaw, thank you for 67. And Black Mud, thank you very much, mate, for gifting 10 subs. Welcome, guys. What do they do? No, we have to go on to speak. What do they do in real life with like big grease fires? Oh, they use foam, don't they? Yeah, annoyingly, they didn't put foam in the game. It's probably too difficult for them. Hey, where is the grease? The grease, Dave, was just. Over there, we're roughly where I'm pointing. Let's go outside. Yeah, so the car has like gone through the wall by the looks of it. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, 
I think it's all oil from the car and stuff. Thanks, Blanco. Don't think we've rescued everybody yet, have we? I couldn't get anywhere else because of the fire. Yes, sir. So we can make way through this doorway. Uh, no being here. Can you get a breach on this, please? Although I think there yeah. might be a uh, backdraft, so be careful. I think yeah, it is so a backdraft actually, leave it. It means nobody's in there usually. Victim is safe, boss. Is that the last one? No, I've got one on my shoulder. Yes, sir. Thanks for that. <laughs> what? <laughs> you pointed your hose to me, it just cooled me down a little bit. <laughs> I pick up another extinguisher and picked up a circular saw, that was a good job. Where's me extinguishing? We need water on this as well, because I can't. The oil is like the first bit. The, what the table keeps on catching it on. Yeah, I'm trying to cut it off. That's it. I've got your back, boss. Yes, sir. Good thing about the AI, you can just send them into the middle of the fire. It's amazing. Yep. That's all the oil engines, I think. The whole place has gone up. We drove his car into the diner and look what happened. Too. What, you found another one? Yeah. I thought they were all done. I, I pressed tab and it didn't show anybody left, it just said quench fires. Search and rescue still, yeah? Yeah, but it doesn't say find victims. There we go. And the nuzzles. Uh, you're right, though. What? There doesn't appear to be any nozzles left on the truck. Oh, found some. Just take the AI's hose then. Whoa. This whole kitchen in here, we might need an extinguisher. Okay, gonna the car's on fire again now. <laughs> I'm on it. These tables up first, and I'll have to fire it so you're right next to the entrance to the car. So I can put out the fire. Yeah, that, I think that's chip fat. I've not 
yeah, squirted that. it in water, but it almost certainly is chipper. Different fire, isn't it? Let me go and grab an extinguisher then. Yeah, it's There's one right next to me if you want it. Oh, sorry, right outside the door. I'll grab another one off the truck and leave that one there for you just in case. I'm just holding this until you get back with the extinguisher. Breach locked. Breach locked. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if that's the other side of the room that had the um, record me. I've got the halogen. I'm going to go for that breach door pull. Okay. Ready? Mm hmm. No, that's okay. Well, there is one on the other side that was. that we've not dealt with yet. Do you want to go for the backdraft one or? Might as well leave it, it's not doing anything, isn't it? Decided to change the direction and went the way back towards the car because the tables keep catching the car, then the car catches the tables. <laughs> Give me a yeah, Basically, you need lots of water, Dave. Once a fire takes hold like this, why do we put them out? Like, wouldn't it not be better just to leave them to burn out? I guess, like, if half the building's still intact, then at least you can save everything in there, can't you? So it's just the backdraft room to take care of, right? I believe, well, apart from the roof, somebody's on. But the car is on fire. Doesn't seem to be going out. No, I think we might have to get on the ladder to put that out. Where's the, um, the backdraft room going in here? Breach tool for the backdraft room. That's the roof out by the looks of it. Dave's done well. Breach might have it up. Not by a long way. No, it keeps on popping back up. I think it just needs 
Might have to find the thingy. How do you get where it is? Oh, is that there? Hmm. Oh no, it's oh, no, it's back up again. It went south and then pops back up. It's hard trying to aim because it doesn't show the icons when you're down here. Just for me, you need to draw a distance out. Well, it doesn't stand for you. Yeah, if I'm here, I'm probably behind you. I can see him from here. I don't see the icons from here. Yeah, no, I Oh, yeah, I see him there. It was an yeah. angle then. Oh, yeah, it looks out, go. though. Is that out? Really? I don't know. No, it keeps starting again. On my screen, he's got the icons of a fire, but there's no fire. Yeah, yes, that's... there's a big fire on my screen. What the? Casper, uh, thank you for Bullseye 50 months. Jake, thank you for Tier 2 10 months. Adobe, thank you 25. This fire does not want to go. What are we doing wrong? Maybe, is, do you reckon it's something to do with the last room? Should we breach the room see, and put I the fire I don't even out? see this fire in, uh, on the zombie's being out. He's got the breach. Yeah, uh, I'll get the one. The, the tool is sitting just outside the room. I'm ready for when you guys are. I'm, I'm there okay. now, ready. Okay. I'm on my way as well. I don't think it's connected, I think. No, I hang don't think it's connected. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Get in, Dave. Shut the door. Okay, let's do it. What do we do? Just break. Yeah. So it doesn't backdraft because we shut the other door. Yeah. Because it can't suck the air in. I wouldn't do that then. <laughs> it looked clear and then it went in and it just magically appeared. That's your door distance, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says, isn't it? Ah! <laughs> It does get hotter when we walk in, doesn't it? It's not just me. You, you walk in, it goes, oh, by the way, there's fire. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've not, Rakamura. We've only just got the plane back. I'm not sure how to get that fire in because I can hear it, but I can't see it. Ladder climbing not possible, it is currently being moved. Got it. Oh. Yeah, so we so we had to put the backdraft out basically. No, I've done the roof. There was a bit of both, but getting the ladder in the right position was difficult. Uh, it's just a share in a, in a plane. Did we get... F oh, medium? Medium? Yeah, we just literally ticked over as we were. Oh, man. We got robbed. Absolutely Yeah, because we robbed. were actually spraying it, so it wasn't even like we weren't doing it. It just didn't give it to us. Yep. Definitely robbed. You're going to do your LAPL in a year? Oof. Why not just go straight for the PPL? Unit 1 to dispatch. We are en route to the scene. Dispatch to Unit 1. Copy that. Acknowledged. Unit 1 en route.
dispatch to unit one. Dirty moon. The fire is spreading. Evacuation status of the Why did it black my screen then? Unit one to dispatch. Did you crash? Copy that. Out of the way. I don't like the look of you. You don't He's just knocking the fire truck down the road. Because well, it's fast. short and stubby though, I can't pick it very easily. That's the fast uh, driving time expired, I thought. Nice chip around the post <laughs> there. That actually helped, I think, didn't it? <laughs> That's alright, one of these is only about a million dollars or whatever it is, Paul. Don't worry about it. It's a rip-off. <laughs> it's a rip-off, is it? <laughs> They're charging that because they don't have to, they don't get to sell many. No, you're probably right, actually. Thank you, in Captain Flint. And Paul's will did all be going around in transit vans with water butts inside. <laughs> Stirrup pumps. More <laughs> efficient. Yeah. Get the bucket. Yeah. More water. So no, I don't just, think you're going to get past him, Paul. He's just slowing me down now, that guy. Well done, Paul, you got him Dispatch in the end. Unit one on scene, assuming command. Continue working the fire. Come on, let me out. Command, we've got electrical fires being relit by sparks. Find a... Cut the power. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to save you. Look at these lights. The supply line is redundant, boss. We'll finish the missions today, Ty. Liverpool for me, thank you for 49 months. Smash the window. Dig at the caravan in the back garden. Electricity is disconnected. We found it, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, one. There's one. All right, love. Be nice and cool now. Let me grab a tool first. Can you make the bot carry one out? Uh, look at the person and then tap number one. I'm on it. Oh god, <laughs> I put it down on the floor and then set fire to it, I think. I put an extra door and the flames just come out. Like falling down Munster before. Oops. Still more left. I think boys are uh, standing outside doing anything. Still more? Apparently. Is there one upstairs or is this a bungalow? Another one here. The bungalow is too. 
Alright, then that might go out to the one because I can't see any through the windows. A uh, single story pull. Uh, bottom is side, thanks for 46 months. So we've still got people left. Well, there's one bloke now being carried. Hopefully that's the last one. Victim is safe, boss. Yep. There's some help with this fire in this room. Can't even get in. Come here, wait room. I've got your back, boss. I'm on it. Front room, back room, middle room. This room. Yeah, we can't even get in at the moment, so. There you go. Um, pink guy, he's got a nozzle in his hand, but with no hose. Yeah, he should figure it out. Hey, you should be able to come through this way. Uh, what did that fire come back from? From Tristan. I'm on it. Don't think we're going to get the fast mission timer. Big guy, or you walking? Surrounded by fire on my screen, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit toasty. Um, dude, your nozzle ain't gonna work very well if you uh, haven't got a hose connected to it, have you? <laughs> Come here! Yes, sir. <laughs> He's just walking around Come here! here. <laughs> you, as you are told, swap with me. One of the early there versions of Chat GPT. Hopefully, yes, he's now working. Right, I'm going to go and fix this. <laughs> Just can't get the stuff. Well, Dave said he's got a nozzle but no hose. And I was like, well, he'll go and connect up in a second. And obviously, he didn't. He just walked in. Yeah, no, so, uh, so he, was just, he just ran in heroically with his nozzle <laughs> but no hose. I mean, I issued a command to him after we'd finished rescuing to go and get a line. And he said, oh, there isn't one, I'll go make one. And then he reported back and said, I've got your back. So I said, come here. And from then on, he just had a nozzle. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, can somebody revive me? I, you'll do all that, at least. Are you dead? Dave. All right. Dave. Uh... Right near you, Dave. Yeah, that's it, Dave, this way. Oh, like, why are you dead? Because I stood in the fire too long, and I'm not an AI. Revive in one second. Can't see what I'm doing. Oh, I've dropped the nozzle. It's not useful. Don't keep running into the fire, though. I have to to get the nozzle, otherwise I'm useless. Let me, let me bounce the water back a bit first, and the fire back in. Where's Hippie? What's Hippie doing? Why is he...? I can hear a um, backdraft boom. Yeah, I've been closing doors off to... This fire does not want to go away. I know, we need, we need, I think we need like to start in a corner and work out, doesn't Because we, we keep on turning around and then it's behind us again. Hey, it keeps restarting behind this door. What's going on behind this door? That's what it is. This is why it keeps coming back. I'm 
wanted. Yeah, that was Cosworth. You're on fire for on my street. Just so the back draft room. Where is it? Yeah. Ah, it's a gym, that's the problem. No yeah. exercise is dangerous. Gyms are dangerous, they are. Um, I can hear fire through this way. Oh, come oh, on. This room is completely dealt with. I don't get it. I dealt with the whole room, then closed the door and left it. Con. Yeah, Absolute hey. con. Indigo, thank you for 11 months. Might get an award for the slowest mission. No! Oh, I did. Did the fast mission time expire? I didn't see it. Probably. I would never call that one fast. Driving time medium, mission time fast, 10 minutes. What? We did a whole house in 10 minutes. That's not bad. And the only reason we have medium is because the AI trolled me. We yeah, need a new driver. Yeah, the AI's fault. Definitely. Can't be mine. Two stories troubles. Let's have a look. Sticking with the T Rex, are you? Well, at least we know where the layout and stuff. You know? <laughs> Otherwise, I've got the best name. Otherwise, I end up running around going, where's the nozzle? Where's the pipe? Unit 1 to dispatch. We are en route to the sea. Dispatch to Unit 1. Copy that. Acknowledged. Unit 1 en route. Look, even the AI's okay, trashing things. <laughs> Not just me. Go get out of the highway and then get past it. Come on. Uh, you gave him the momentum pull. Oh, well, the AI is no mess. Oh, T Rex, sweet, just resubscribed. He How did. Convenient. Thank you for two months, T Rex. Did you hear your name or something? Or? The fire engine's even subscribed, so <laughs> that's it. We gotta pet this one. Oh, he's going on the wrong side of the road. You know you're not in England, right, Paul? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, because the rest of the world is wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, he dropped into me! Whoa. <laughs> oh, that was close! <laughs> Can you imagine being in that car? You <laughs> <laughs> should see two fire engines hurtling towards you. <laughs> Stay true. Uh, no, I think you gotta go right, haven't you? I think it's probably better to, because we're cutting across, aren't we? Yeah. God, I got some long gear ratio. It sounds like a car. Be, be. Dispatch to Unit 1. 
Reports indicate the fire is spreading. Evacuation status of the house still unknown. Unit 1 to dispatch. Copy that. Little pups. <laughs> Who's picking on pups? Leave him alone. They're all picking on pups, according to pups. I'll get them for you, pups. Don't worry, mate. I'm back. Just in time. I'm back. Perfect timing for the uh, fire. Unit one to okay, you see him spawn in then. Dispatch to all oh, units. Come on. Why would you really? do that? Assuming command. Continue working the fire. Thanks, game. Command, we've got electrical fires being relit by sparks. Find a fuse box and cut the power. Supply lines ready to go, boss. How, how's this working for you? Is it getting better as we go on? Yes, or? This building looks <laughs> suspicious like the last one, except with the staircase. Been a breach for that door, though. I'm just going a bit to be working. So. If anybody's in here, they're probably toasted. Door shut first for the kitchen, there's no fire that side. Victim is safe, boss. Fire department! That's Fall a huge out. garage door. Did the electrics turn it off? Yeah, I'm just using the electric garage door to open it so I can get to the electric box. Yes, sir. Electrics are off. Yeah, find another one upstairs. Need a breach on here. Found some more upstairs, I think. Yeah, one here. Door breached. I'm on it. Yeah, we need to take out ground floor, there. otherwise it's going to take all this with it. Oh, found another one. Right in the gym again. I'm telling you, I'm never going in the gym again. The upstairs is clear of victims or not? As far as I can tell, yeah. Okay, that's all victims, I'm getting a hose. Do you want to give the order for the hose, Paul? Try and save them getting confused. Done. This bathroom is like highly inflammable. I think it's because it's on fire outside as well, by the way. Oh no, what's happening to 
What? The bot. It's no right, free discharge caps Yeah, around. that's fine. I've sorted him. He's done. So he's got a hose that should work. Bathroom fire is done. Where do you want to start? Downstairs, upstairs? I'm just doing this outside. Do downstairs. downstairs. Upstairs is, is off. Like, there's no fire upstairs at the moment. Unless we take too long well, down on here. On the outside. Outside of it's completely on fire. There's fire. The AI is helping me and Dave on the outside at the moment. Right, hopefully that's the outside done. Um, the AI is coming inside. Well, There's a there, patch then. on the where I'm, I'm spraying it some place. That's that, did that thing go out? Yeah? Yep. Uh, I think there's a tree in the backyard on fire. I'm going to go get rid of that. If it's not a threat, just ignore it. Well, there's barrels beside it. Over a cool of light, sorry guys. seems to go out faster if you work your way back from a corner, but the actual things disappear faster. It's like it knows, it's like it takes into account what's either side of it or something. Well, not that, two of us were pointing at the same thing. But even, even when you do it on your own, if you do a corner on your own, it seems to go out faster than if you're doing like the middle section. Which does kind of make sense, I guess. I mean, if he's, if this thing's burning either side of he's got more chance of setting back a fire, isn't it? Mm. Sure. Biff, thanks for 33 months. Okay. Easy. It was the tree. <laughs> Just finished that up. It's the noise your character makes when you're on fire. <laughs> Medium driving, you see the speed I was going at? That's insane. <laughs> I was like absolutely flying down there. It's probably because, do you get a time penalty on the crashes? I don't know. Feels like it because knocks that off. Yeah, I was going to say, because you did smash into the thing at the end, didn't you? We've only got a few left. We've got what looks like another house one, a warehouse one, and a the failed test flight one. Do you want to do warehouse, house? What's plane, that one down the bottom left? Training center. Yeah, it's just training mission. Ah, uh, training. Doesn't really tell you whether you um, when you when you hover over them how well you did the last time you tried it. Like, he doesn't say, oh, you did it as medium and fast or whatever. What did you want to 100% complete it for? Well, it would just be nice if we'd, you know, we'd not done something fast. We could have another go and do it fast. But it doesn't actually tell you. I think because all the missions that you can replay are certainly the random ones. There's so many different seeds that exist that it doesn't right. matter whether you didn't do it that way. I see. Maybe. Maybe. 
because on some of the missions you select it, it gives you like a number, and then you can obviously roll the dice for a different number. I don't know if you can actually type a number in, so you can like redo the same one. I don't know. Hmm. Unit one to dispatch. We are on route to the sea. So have we max dispatch leveled then? I think we are. So I think we've unlocked everything that needs to be dispatch unlocked. Dispatch to unit just... one. Evacuation status of the warehouse is unknown. How do you even find we the have level? There may be victims it's on the unit screen that me and you can't Copy see. That. Oh, right, okay. So when Paul's looking for a mission. On the top of his screen, on the top right, gives his sort of experience, but not on level. I get you. At the end of the mission, you get a level, but I think me and Paul are so high now that it doesn't actually tell us a level. It just says zero. I'm not actually sure. I haven't looked. Eric. Two columns of smoke. Ooh. Nice lag spike. Where are you going? Following the sat nav. Okay. <laughs> my my sat nav's completely different than Paul's. Yeah, same here. We're off roading. We've never been down this road before. Was this the Outback Warehouse one? Something like that. Oh, okay. So I'm curious to where your sat nav was taking you. Well, good job me and Dave are driving, because we would have got it. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the, the line was showing us down like the highway thing. I guess down the highway take a ride, maybe? Yeah, down well, the road, yeah. Take a ride. it's just down the highway, but there's not actually a way from the highway to here. Oh yeah, that is the only route. Yep. Okay. Unit 1 to dispatch. Unit 1 approaching sea. Dispatch to Unit 1. We could this have a fire spreading situation huge, due to cardboard it? boxes in the warehouse. It's big Proceed boy warehouse. Caution. Command, we've got electrical fire. Find a fuse box and cut the power. <laughs> Supply line is ready to go, boss. <laughs> Does open. I put two t two attack lines together. There's a lot of boom going. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of uh, victims as well. I'm just going to drop this one here for a sec. Because there's fire next to this one in here. One more. Yes, there's another one here. Just love, it. love the love the dead people outside. They'll be fine. Right. On a 360 check, the shelving unit appears to have collapsed. Command, we need a power saw to cut the locks. We found the power unit. No, I found the valve that I've shut. Can't see any more bodies. What's this? Is this the is this the electrical thing? No, there's normally a switch that gives you the ability to turn it off. Yeah. Oh, there's electric here on him. That's uh, what yeah, I the thought. pile of victims around the back needs yeah, I'm just, separately. I'm going to go to him now and clear him. I was just trying to get everybody away from fire. Roof window switch. Does that help? Well, it might vent a bit, but... Ceiling fans? 
Office window. Whoa. Can't find anybody else, so let's just try um, moving these. Yeah, the guy's on his way to. Yes, Commander. I'm with you, boss. Lead the way. Find the electricity. That's all. Does that mean there's still more people? Yeah. Do it. Have you got a breach tool? Not at the moment. There was one around, but I'm just going to get... We can't get anywhere else until we uh, battle the fire a bit. There's an axe breach tool or we need something else? No, you need a pry bar. There should be one um, here somewhere where I dropped, I dropped one here. I don't know where it's gone. Cool. So we're now we're not down here. I'm not sure I like the sound of that. I can't get in with the pry bar though. There's a loading door that's open at the back of the building. Yeah, what if you just click, click and hold? Weird. I don't know. It says pry to required. I use pry to, and it won't let me open. Oh, yeah. it. No, you just have to click and hold, like you know, when you press E on something. It's that weird noise. Well, you found him? Found one. It might just be that one then. So, I'm, I'm sure I won't be there then. Mm -hmm. Don't see anybody else up here. Oh no, where are you? I fell off a pipe! Make a mistake, boss! Where about I, Sammy? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll respawn in a second. Okay. Yes, Commander! Oh. I'm on it! Keep pressing spacebar uh, to jump. And then wrecking the bot. Yep. Yes, Commander. On a 360 check, the loading area is clear of danger. Boss, 
that's something greasy that way, is it? I don't think so. Well, he's just big. Oh, well, there's grease behind it, but not what we're hitting. Yep, there it is. It's that yellow thing, that yellow cell. That yellow sound? <laughs> the it's the sound, but it's like a greeny colour behind us. Right, over here, Dave. Or is it in here? It's just this over here. There's something here that's... Close that. On the floor as well. That. Don't scrub water on that. <laughs> is it the leaking from the fork track? Well, I don't know, because I cleared that once. Alright, yeah. can you chuck water in it now, or is it still... There you go, let's stop it reigniting them. Yeah, that one above you somewhere, let's try and get that one out. The whole stack. I'm going to try and go up. Can we go up in this bit? Yeah, there's a good uh, catwalk up high up. You can see down on most of it. Yeah, I don't think that's this one. This side, though. Ooh. Yeah, there's not a catwalk on this side of the building. Okay. It's the other side. Uh, I think we've got a greasy fire at the bottom of this one. Okay. Somewhere there. So it looks like it. I'll tell Jeff to go and get an extinguisher. I'm with you, boss. Lead the way. Oh, he's found the closest one, which is probably... That's fine. What was it? This here? Yeah. Alright. Wanna try that? Looks good. I'm with you, boss. Lead the way. I'm on it. This is warm in here. You imagine wearing all the gear that they have to wear and then walking into a place that's on fire. Right, that's this warehouse dealt with. Okay, where next? Off to the other side.
I'm just impressed with how, how long these houses are. <laughs> It does annoy me the way they cut things off though with boxes that you can't jump over. Why is the exit locked? <laughs> it's literally a fire exit. For the fire marshal to figure out. It's breach locked. Nice little kink you put in your, fire, in your uh, hose there, Dave. Little sausage kink. It should really help with the flow. Okay, go on. He's this side. Right. Yes, sir. I thought this fire's not really going out right now. Now he's in me. Once you get one end on, it just seems to disappear that quick. I don't get it. But <laughs> it really makes no sense. Smashing. I'm on it. Entrance from to get into that other bit. I don't know. It's a pain. That whole thing's gonna be on fire again. I can't get round again. Yeah, you can just walk round through that bit, Dave. If you want. I walk to the opposite way. I'm on it. How long is your hose? Infinite. The annoying thing about these like stacks of boxes is you have to do both sides. <laughs> Otherwise they just set each other on fire again. Can you hear fire behind us again? Yeah, back over by those entrances that you two had to go external for. What? Warehouse job done. That was 
fairly substantial, isn't it? Yeah, they are tricky, those. Wait, it said level naught and then level up? Yeah. And then it's like level me up multiple times. I think it's just reset me back to level zero. Yeah, but I don't think zero is... A, it's weird. <laughs> hmm, I'm suspicious. I think we hit max level and went back to zero. Because if you look in your top right corner now... Yeah. Like, you've got 81,000 XP. Yeah. But that's not a level one. So you sort of stay a level zero now. I think you start at a level one, then you get to the highest point and it reverts you back to a zero and keeps you at a zero, basically. Right. But who knows? Yeah, I think it's an integer overflow. Unit 1 to dispatch. We are en route to the sea. Dispatch to Unit 1. Copy that. Acknowledged. Unit 1 en route. Dispatch to Unit 1. Reports indicate the fire is spreading. Evacuation status of the house still unknown. Unit 1 to dispatch. Copy that. He would make it now, yeah? Oh, he is! Oh! <laughs> oh, we're going now. <laughs> we should be able to get style points for that one. <laughs> Outbreak. All this lovely scenery, you just get to fly by. I wonder if there's any like Easter eggs or anything with the scenery. Mm. You don't notice this at all, do you? Because you're ragging around to try and get there fast. Uh, but I bet they've done something. You'd hope so, but. I don't think they really expect you to get out and start exploring. They don't really Unit encourage one to it. Dispatch. Unit 1 approaching scene. Dispatch to all units. Unit 1 on scene assuming command. Continue working the fire. Command, we've got electrical fires being relit by sparks. Find a fuse box and cut the power. Oh, I've gone to the wrong house, I think. Where's the house? The supply line is ready to go, boss. The one with the smoke coming out of it, Dave. Yeah, it's okay. I'm just going. Oh, that's spicy. I'm on it. Fire department! Is there anybody the There's a dog! Acknowledged. I can't back to a dog, yeah. Get me in, we need to get the dog. Where is he? I see a dog. I can hear it barking. Very quick, where is he? I'm on it. I'm on it. I found people, but I need the dog. Kitchen's on fire. Sarah's been cooking. <laughs> it's a dog just like clean? outside in the kennel or something. <laughs> There's a dead person in here, but I need to move on the doggy. It sounds like it's outside, don't you? Unless it's upstairs, it could be upstairs. I'll carry this buddy to safety so it looks like I'm not just here for the dog. Safe, boss. Yes, sir. I've never seen us rescue dogs, though, that's the thing. I think it's just an audio effect. That's what I'm thinking.
Okay, I can't see the doggy outside now, so I think it might be. The victim is safe, boss. Okay, I think the kitchen's done, but there is a wait. Dave, can maybe breach? I'm on it. Yeah, I'm There's literally a oh, breach tool on the wall. Let me grab a tool first. I'm going to on fire. I think it needs yeah. an axe. Yeah. I'm on it. Okay, boss. I'll break it open. I'll need to get a tool first. Well, I dodgy can't that find is. The right tool, boss. There's a dog inside. Fire department. Fall out. What's that? Just some like dodgy hidden bedroom. <laughs> what is just this? A, just a way through the wall so you haven't always got to use doors. <laughs> just completely right. redecorate somebody's house. There's still somebody left somewhere. There won't be. Not, 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 not about a minute's time. Is that the staircase? Maybe I'm going to grab the house and start. And we'll uh, try and get them. Oh, actually, everybody else. Oh, there. oh my god, okay. this is just a massive inferno. There isn't an upstairs, I've got so... I've back, boss. Yes, Commander. I'm on it. I'm on it. That needs a breach. I think that goes to the door that we just locked, shut the door on. Was this one who... I think that just goes to the same place where we smashed the wall down. Which is still I think we fire. need to go through there though, don't we? Yeah, I think Well, so. you can just go this way. Definitely spicy. Yeah. There's still somebody that's rescuing, that's what's worrying yeah, me. Yeah, no, I can't find them. Has anybody got a breach to them? There's one outside the store. Not with me. Okay. I'm with you, boss. Lead the way. Yes, sir. Where do you need to reach? Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe it's the ring doorbell making the dog sound. <laughs> Every time we walk somebody back to the ambulance, run, run. <laughs> There's somebody at your door. That's the worst thing about rings. I had to turn off emotional alerts to my head. Why? Just having like, because I get deliveries and stuff. I, I don't need to know there's people me walking there before you press the button. It's just annoying. Or when you're doing something else in the garden and you have to 
you know, front drive or whatever, and then you have to mute it for two hours because it just constantly goes off. Is that the sensitivity of it? That was a bit off. I'm, um, I'm going to get the Google one. I'm already enough of the ring anyway. It keeps on just randomly disconnecting for a couple of days. What's so good about the Google one? Well, hopefully it won't randomly disconnect. <laughs> like, there's no, is that I, it? Yeah, yeah. I don't really care which one it is. I don't care who runs it or whatever. Like, like the Ufi or Google, any of them really. But I've I've got now two. Uh, I've got a big I'm with you, boss. Asus recently with a big massive yes, one that looks like a spider. Yeah. I got one of them plus another one as, as a repeater. So I know it's definitely not my yeah. Wi-Fi. And every couple of days it'll just disconnect and then be disconnected for however long and then it'll just connect again randomly. So I can't do anything. But um, I've been looking at a lot of the ring forums and the Facebook pages and stuff and it seems that it's like a common thing once they get a bit older they just start randomly disconnecting so, and you kind of buy the new one which... I refuse to do. I'm not. I hate things like that. I mean, mine disconnected. Like there was, a, it went through a period a few weeks ago where it was just disconnected, full stop. It wouldn't yeah, connect, that's what and I brought yeah, it. Yeah. In, I brought it into my office, and it just connected fine. I put it outside, and it wouldn't connect. And I ended up changing some of the frequencies of my five and two G because I think something nearby must have been interfering, and then it was okay. Yeah, yeah, I've done that as well. As you put, oh, I'm level sixteen. It says. Um, I've done that as well, and it works for a while, but then it'll just keep on going again. It's silly, so yeah, it's I'm rotating. hoping um, I'm just going to buy the, a different one, like whichever one I can find. Google one, probably. you got the EU FI 2K 360 camera, all wireless, no problems for 1,500 square foot house. Yeah, the, the, the Eufy ones won't be quite good. That's just I don't really like Eufy as a company because I saw some quite a lot of... Um, Security breaches and stuff on them. That's not good. Yarp. But overall, them the Ufi ones seem to be really, really good. But I've wired mine as well because I I can't be bothered with batteries. Mm -hmm. So I did a wired the wired version, which works really well in terms of power. But it's a pity man, you can't pee away it and wire it in through the network. Yeah, exactly. That's what. I'd love. <laughs> That'd be ideal. I haven't had a problem with mine. Yet. You haven't had a problem with yours yet. yet. <laughs> Probably because there's nobody nearby, somebody to interfere with your wireless. No. Yeah, and your internet's not good enough to have uh, loads of devices connecting. <laughs> Are you getting? No, is I... it? You're getting gigabit soon, Tommy. I'm on the list, but don't hold your breath. That'd be good. Gigabit in Norfolk. I'm no, gigabit in the middle of nowhere in Norfolk. So okay. do we think they created this track road that you're about you're to take again and they wanted to put two scenarios up there? Dispatch to you. Yeah. See, for me, there's no way... Um, no, there isn't for me either. Yeah. We that looks like a way, big plume yeah. of smoke, doesn't it? Trees. Perhaps the annoying part was we were going by a different house than the one we did because it said it had zero internet and I was calling the companies and everything and they said we can't do anything there because there's some section whatever order on the estate that means when the estate's built for X amount of years they're not allowed to dig up the roads or footpaths unless it's an emergency like gas and electricity thing Unit one and the dispatch. council put Unit an order on it so that no one does anything so they couldn't actually install electricity uh, sorry yeah, uh, internet so me and Sarah didn't buy the house because it didn't have internet and they couldn't tell us when the order was up so it could have been any period between three and five years 
about three months after we bought this house, we just checked and it had internet in that area. So it would have been sooner rather than later. That's a bit gutting, isn't it? Yeah, and the house was super cheap because they couldn't sell it because of this internet problem. And it was probably almost, I'd say, half the size of my house again with an extra floor plus a, a double garage but not connected to the house. And um, it was cheaper than this house because no one wanted it because of the... Uh, the supply the, line the, is ready to go, boss. Oh, it's a plane. We don't need a pry tool for a plane, do we? Who knows? Oh, yeah, I was just thinking... If it, it's crashed and mangled. Oh, well, it's going to attack the trees, isn't it? We assume that there's two people on board, considering it's a test flight. Oh, I see a victim down the back of the plane. Yes, sir. Time to get there with this hose, it'll all be over. I'm on it. All right, that's one of them carrying him back. A hundred gigabit, Dusty. A hundred gig? Yeah, I think he might be. I'd be surprised if he got a hundred gigabit through VT. I mean, I'll take it, but I can't see any more victims, but I can't really see much in this uh, Difficult to know where to start with this one. I think I'm just going to get those straight up. Oh, he can't climb up the step to get in the plane. It's too far for my little legs. Climb down pots. Have you got a hundred megabit, Dusty? Maybe? Or... Like a gigabit is a thousand megabit, so... Maybe you've got a hundred megabit. Where I am, I've just about made a break in the fire to the tail section, so if we can hold this, we can completely um, stop the fire in the tail section. Is Jeff free yet, or is he still...? He's free, but that's whether we find another victim, really. Looks like he's making a hose up. Okay, I don't see anybody in the tail section. I mean, if they landed a little bit further back, they wouldn't have had a problem with fire. No, but they might have to get snorkel. Right, tail section's out. I'm trying to see you, to see you, you're walking around faster than I can move. <laughs> Although, yeah, just hit it, eh? Yes, Commander. Well, apparently, I can't walk through them, not allowed. Oh, 
probably needs the pilot, but I couldn't see a way of getting into the cockpit. It was too fiery. Well, we've not rescued somebody yet. So, I guess they're not on fire. He's got a hose. Boy, he's got <sighs> the uh, attachments and no hose on it. You no, know, he's just got the hose this time rather than the nozzle. He's amazing. I'll go and do it for you then, mate. So he's at the front trying to sustain the cockpit. I don't know whether we want to split this or whether we want to just team up as a whole. Well, at the moment, we've almost got the middle section done as well. Go on. Go to the right hand side, so we can go and get the rear of the right. I mean, they well, we, can't take around. If we us. work on the basis somebody's near the plane, it's a stick close to the plane, don't we? Yeah, I just mean this bit here, where I am, so you don't set back, things back up by I mean. To set all the bushes on fire. Yeah, that's annoying. You wouldn't want us. Yeah. Oh, there he is getting up briefly. I think it's the survivors not going to be near the wing, are they? Might have been doing well, that. What thing. I found was behind, beside the tail. It would be a, you know, like a walker that got hit by a plane. <laughs> Just like walking <laughs> along gets hit by a plane. Here, Dave. Yes, sir. Right, on you, Paul, what are you doing? The plane. Focus on the plane. Yes, Commander. Now we've got a break. Yes, sir. Okay, boss. I'll put that fire out. Oh, what's that symbol? Is that one? That's the take this fire out symbol because if you just tell him to go somewhere he won't prioritize the, which fire you want he'll just pick one I think the midsection on the left side is caught again you're kidding me the, the tail and the wing looks like it's on the way I thought that whole left side was done it was, and then this one, it's just crappy so quick again. Yes, sir. Okay, boss. I'll put that fire out. That all this wing, this is going catch again where we had to put the brake in, ink, jump across in a minute. You can always put the AI though, just to man the brake. See a thing. He's got me yes, up front okay, end. Boss. He's got a bit of cock there, really. Just just I just don't know front. how we. Unless he's gone through the front window, maybe. I'm on it. I suppose if we just got. We've tried work from the back to the front and front scene. Let's try and work from the front to the back, I guess. I bet he's like 20 meters up the hill. Smashed <laughs> through the window. Wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Well, 
Well, the fire rear looks more intense than it was when we then left. I don't get that. Like, I can literally put all that out. Yeah, we just need to actually work our way down yes, there because the okay, problem boss, is it's when it's catching out. these bushes and then it just recatches everything again, you have to keep doing that. We just need to actually use the AI guy at the front here and take this whole plane down this left side. Okay. If we get this done here, we can put the AI at the front here. And it'll stop it coming back around. I'm just tempted just to do two to the left, two to the right. One. Take. We found one. Yeah. Now, do I, ca do I carry on spraying or do I walk back? Tell him Mark, to take it back. Yeah, I tell him to do it. Yes, Commander. We must have walked past him like five times. Must have just been chilling out on fire. Probably wearing camo. I'm gonna just get the sun controls well for and work my way back to you just so we know that the front's clear then. Once the bots drop that guy off, we'll put him in. Then he can just hold this here. Do we not need to finish these trees off anyway? Or do we not have to? Well, we do, them? but like, somebody's holding a piece back there, isn't he? So if we put the bot and hold this, we can go to Sommy and work all the way around. Yeah, I'm left-hand side wing. Because these trees are just annoying. That is a long walk back to the ambulance. Yep. Victim is safe, boss. Right, all the victims are rescued. Right. Yes, he can come here. Have you told him to I'm get a hose? They're cool. Right, Dave, mm -hmm. Jeff's in, if you want to come with me now, Jeff's in place, he can just hold that and then we can push the fire back the other way. I mean, for a fire like this, you'd have about four fire engines. Yeah. Oh, the cockpit section has come alight again. Really? What? Do you two what? He's got one job. Dave, stay <laughs> with me. That's what I mean. I think I don't know why we don't just start at the front and work way down, like to either side. Because if we keep doing this, we're chasing a circle, aren't we? You know what I mean? If it's like a pencil shape, we can, if we start up front, well, at the moment the front's on fire, the back's on fire, and we like at the side of it. If we can push the fire away from the plane gun. Jeff was on it, but he wasn't really. Um, actually, he was doing okay. Right, just stay there. I'm on it. Stop moving around. You're not paid to think, you're paid to stand there and squirt water. You actually have to tell him to hold position. How? How do I tell him to hold position? I'm on it. Well, you can't. It's just a stop and a ball. Cancel. Axe. Stop. Yes, sir. Stop and a ball. But I don't know if that's a stop no. squirting. No, he's not squirting. <laughs> what? Yes, sir. Right, go there then. The front of the plane's not on fire anymore, and we've got a break down the right side. So at the moment, if we clear this left, 
the plane is no longer on fire. I'm just standing on the wing full of fuel, don't worry about it. Never get used to the hey, smell Paul. of Jetta in the morning. You definitely used to phone for plane fires, I think. That's what he's done. And then big fire and you just spray Yeah, you just completely over. cover it. Well, that's because there's fuel involved, so water's no good. I feel like you're getting to the tip of things now, Paul. Yeah. It's coming to an end. <laughs> and there's me just winging it. No, I'm not giving you a tip for that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I jumped 15 feet off a wing and... <laughs> I think the plane is officially not on fire. This wind section is. Just going to walk up to and have a look at the bot and see how he's getting on, just to make sure. I looked down the side and the plane wasn't on fire, so I'll take that as a victory. Right, I think the fuselage is successfully extinguished apart from that wing. Yeah, the problem with this wing is it's dipped into all this um, foliage, so it just keeps reigniting. I've got this half mostly under control. You can do the leading edge at all. As well. Can you? Do the wing leaning edge, and I can do the top side. Yeah. I'll go around to you. Oh, your side a bit more, actually. Actually, I can get some on the top from here. Can you actually hit the top from there? Yeah, I can do the top, but I need some doing okay, that no leading edge, trying the front of the wing. Yeah, yeah, that's. I was trying to do that before, and it was just not going down at all. I think it's actually on top that we need to do. It's um, like I'm spraying the circular breeze, and they're not doing anything. I don't know how we can do it. Oh, it just no, keeps reigniting. Yeah, I'm I'm on fire next to me again now. It's 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 caught fire next to me. Oh no! How can a wing burn like this? <laughs> I'm going to have to put out this fire a bit. It's catching me. It, it goes out and then you turn around and it, you can see it ignite again. It just yep. ignites in one lump. I don't get what bit I'm meant to be hitting here. Right, so I've made a gap between this fire and the rest of the fire. Let's hopefully that might work. Oh yeah, it's going down now. Right, so I'm on it. What, on the wing? Yeah, so I'm, I moved. Once you break away the foliage a bit and make a gap, it kind of goes off again then. I wish you could actually just step on the wing, that'd be nice. Yeah.
Yeah, I'm on the wing, Dave. Oh no, nice. I've put out all the fronts as well. Right, me and the AI have got the big patch beside the cockpit, so we're working our way down to you now with the brush. Yeah, if you can go around the back of this wing and just you should be able yes, to help sir. me out. Because yeah. I can do the edge now. Just need you to do this back bit. Yep, you walk all the way around. Yeah, I've got that spit Dave if you want to help Paul. Yeah, I was just needing to some walk past. <laughs> he walks that slow, you can spray loads of other stuff, it's great. Uh, Clutch McBrosby, thank you for 93 months. Ray Dagger, thanks for almost four years. Bradley, welcome, thank you for subbing. Ghost Durango, thank you for two months. Okay, Ooh. was that just that bush that was on fire and that was kept setting everything on fire magically? As soon as the bush went out, it just instantly started to go. Great. Easy. I broke the back of it now. Yeah, that's that, these little bushes that seem to <laughs> just spread it out everywhere. Thank you, Wendy, and thank you for 14 months. Uh, the common next to me, our farm used to always get lit on fire by kids. And yeah. used to, the firemen used to just always come with big, like, rubber beaters. You know, like a, a stick with it. Almost like a, um... They just hit the kids with it, yeah. Flat. Yeah, they should have done. Just, just hit the kids with it. This is what happens every time you do this. <laughs> These are just like mud flaps attached to sticks. They were great. Yes, well, I was one, one of them. There's. Um, like it, was, it was in all of the papers and everything that the common had got set on fire because of all the damage it caused and all that kind of stuff. But on all of the posts around the common, they were going to do controlled fires like the week later anyway mm. to burn the common so to get rid of all the yeah, removed, reduce the risk. Yeah, well, it's the um, they ended up putting uh, cheap on there and, and goats and stuff because it's all like coarse bramble and all mm. stuff like that. Yeah, it's when it gets longer than dries out, it's just a massive risk, isn't it? Yeah. Put goats on it, they just keep it in trim. Well, the goats will eat like the ferns and the brambles and everything, they don't care what it is, thistles, all that kind of stuff. Whereas most stuff won't. And they give you milk. Then they do, they give you mm, not mutton, what's it called? Well, goat, uh, what's goat meat called? Is there a name? Oh, I'd like to try goat curry. I've had uh, one of my friends used to always bring in goat cuts, so I used to go to the gym with. Absolutely, it's lovely. But then again, any of the curries he used to bring in were lovely. These <laughs> cut like proper like, African style curries. Brilliant. I want curry now. <laughs> yeah, just eat goat curry. No, yeah, I don't want like the nut curry, shot curries. Though. I want like properly African style curries where they just put like a single silly hot pepper on the top. Yeah. You tap your tap your spoon against. I just pick it up and chew it. You can't. You die. They're insane. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was a tricky one. Yeah, that one was Ooh. tough. 
It's good though. Like it's different to a normal building fire. Yeah. They should do one on a big container ship and things like that. So you feel not equipped to, for the job though, right? I got fast bonuses on both of them. Yeah. Two victims. To so be honest, I thought we'd use more water than that. 4,000. Three and a half thousand terrible. meters. I think that's all of them. I think that is. I think we've burned through Where's all it? of the content. I told you that was about two hours, didn't I? <laughs> well, for the whole thing. That's six hours. But yeah, we've done them all. Why is that one dark, like a light, well, not dark, like a cyan green or whatever it's on the left? It's no, training oh, no, up, oh, this up, one. That's, that one. I think that's your first mission. The blue one, the introduction. Uh, baptism of Fire. Yeah, that's your first yeah. mission. Fair enough. But you're season pro now, Dave. Cool. As you say, fair enough. I'm, I'm, I'm trained. Yeah, that's Chambers that's not like a boss fire. Like this entire section of the map down here has just got nothing on it, and there's like docks here and stuff. You'd think there'd be dockyard fires. Well, it's the training yards down there. Whether, whether, I mean, they haven't updated it since November, right? Yeah, they're obviously working on version two. We burned through the content, eh? <laughs> Um, Yeah, that's that, isn't it? So I guess we go on to police one now. Cool. You got that, Dave? No. Lol. Oh, well. How'd you get out of this thing? <sighs> Back to menu. Oh, well. Well, thanks for playing, Dave, then. No, no, it's been good fun. Always, uh, always good fun.